professional sports I like to watch is basketball, the NBA. And so you'll have the, the point guard, the main guy on the team. It might not be the point guard, but you always try to get the ball to that one guy when you've worked down the field, okay? And once that guy gets the ball, it's basically gotten to him in, in several ways, whether it's through picks, where he'll work around and the guy stands in front and blocks this guy so he can get an open shot, or if they get him in the middle, you know, somebody else tries to draw a double team so that he can get open, and it's basically the same thing. It, it boils down to the number three normally on the team needing to get the ball and having possession, and the number one and the number two working to allow him to have the room and the time to make his play. Here is the scenario. Blue number three is taking the knock-in. He's being marked by the red number three. Now blue is going to send their number four to the red number three to try to create a pick and keep him off the blue number three. The question is this. You are the red number one. Your job is to mark the blue number four. What do you do? There's different ways to handle it, different strategies depending on what the other team members are. But one, the, the most simple strategy would be that the number one in red will try to block the number four from getting to the number three in red. Yes. So what the number four is trying to achieve to the number three, the number one wants to achieve to the number four before. So that means when... And it creates a kind of a cluster situation <laughs> a lot of the time. Uh huh. So it's you. You have to have different plans. It might. It might become. It'll be. It'll be a question of who's more effective, the one or the four. If the one's more effective, then there is no problem. If the four becomes more effective, then now the number three, as the captain of the team, needs to develop a different strategy. Uh -huh. Whether he maybe he wants to send his number two to mark the number three, or whether he wants to find a different player to get the number four off of him. Mm -hmm. So if my job is to keep the number four off of my number three, yes. what, what do I have to do to do that? I suppose that means being very quick to find him after the ball goes over the end line. But when the ball me, goes over the end line and they call play, one of the things you want to do is maybe get there before he does. The other thing, the number three needs to help you in that situation. The number three maybe you will, in this scenario here, see that you're standing there and the number four is blocking him. He'll come around this way come around behind you so that then you're able to block the number four and then he can still come to the number three. He might be late, the number three might have tapped the ball once, but you haven't given up a run down the field yet. 